Um, I guess we'll go to the Gullivers first. I don't know. Two, two, two. This dude should drive. I got nothing to say, and they're not saying anything either. So, how much further is this? Oh my God! You know what? Go drive. You drive. Just drive. Drive. God damn it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, bitch. Go over the case notes. Move your ass up. Biggs. I remember your name now. I'm gonna call you that from now on. Biggs. Herschel. Gulliver's Travel Agency, 10.09 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh my god, looks creepy. <laughs> Oh, it's closed. I saw that. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> John Cunningham. Can I help you? Cunningham. Oh my God. Recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called it to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Oh, look, he cares so much. Actually, can't do. <laughs> oh. Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Uh, those are the Steffens, right? Yeah, here we go. Hello. Here they are, the Steffens. All right. Now, if I was telling you anything, we're on to questions. <laughs> You're being interrogated, bitch. Development fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. All right, I believe you. How much business do you do with Suburban? You get some kind of kickback from these guys. Oh, so now you're accusing me of taking kickbacks from realty developers. Maybe Is I am. Proving this, detective? No, just just posing a question, you know. What's what, what, what's wrong with that, huh? Why are you so uncomfortable about that, huh? Why does that make you feel so uncomfortable? I think that's what you should. Be, I think that's the real question here. The real question you should be asking yourself and me. And that I should be asking you. We should all be asking each other this at the same time. Maybe we can come to a maybe we can come to a conclusion together. You know, working together. Oh boy, regulator valve, fire damage. Okay, that has nothing to do with this. It's, it's just insta heat. That yeah, it's not directly directly related. Um. Yes, yeah, so we got Sorry. nothing. My mistake. So, right. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. All right, you're you're holding out on me. Oh. So you don't believe that it's suspicious that a guy who doesn't want to sell his house wins some holiday tickets, and while he's away, his home burns down. To me, it just sounds like really bad luck. It's not like everyone who wins a prize gets their house set on fire, officer. All right, cool. Uh, it was showing me Cole's face and how he's like kind of pissed off and like not believing him, and then else he also seemed kind of a little bit full of shit. But uh, no, I guess it's not doubt. It must have been truth. <sighs> God damn it! I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes. This is going well. We do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. Oh, you're, you're full of shit now. Guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. Oh, now you're definitely full of shit. Okay. You're lying, Cunningham. <laughs> He's like, uh, what? What? what did I just <laughs> say? <laughs> and you have a screw loose buster. I'm involved in a conspiracy Whoa. for a twenty dollar family ticket to Catalina. How are you going to prove that? Uh. Contest. There we go. Contest of trial prizes. There we go. Got you dead to rights. Like I made a mistake. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Doubt, doubt. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. 
Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Bet you are sorry, bitch. Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But instead, there's only 20. The reality is the Suburban oh. Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who's won. Okay. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Oh, so they choose the winner. Oh, okay. For that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I can tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? <laughs> good man, Cunningham. <laughs> you're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll live with it. You'll get over it. You work at a business firm. A rich business firm. Travel agency. I'm sure you get paid quite a bit. Or if you don't, well, then, you know. Oh, well. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike. Great partners must think alike. Don't you mean great minds, Cole? God. Ruined the quote. We're gonna do we're gonna do a street crime in the, in the next part because I need to kind of hurry this up, or in the next case I think because I because I want to just do this first case straight up and also we kind of need to hurry things up right now. For me, oh shit. Turn the goddamn siren on. Shut up. There, you got your wish. Happy? No? Well, fuck off then. Don't tell me what to do. Man, I like all these freaking shortcuts we got here. I think we're good enough here, right? right? Alright, come on. Well, how far is this? Jesus Christ. This is far. Alright, cool. Maybe those weren't exactly shortcuts, I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, move out of the way from you bitches. That's right. Oh, we're over here. Oh, okay. Here we go. This should be interesting. Elijah Fields Development Site, 1135 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I thought this was suburban, not Elijah. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the suburban oh, yeah. development fund. Oh yeah. This go. is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian. Name's not Mac. It's Cole. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work. No, it's not Mac. Oh my Thanks God, you're. St God, you're stupid. Elysian are investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Who says we should visit him at Fire Station 30? Well, I, I didn't get demoted, so maybe I am out of my Who mind. Exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't I don't. Let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. Yeah, whatever. I'm probably better than him. Well, okay, he's a fire. He's a fire guy, so I don't know, whatever. I guess he's a little bit different for me. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm the best detective though. I take that title. I take it very seriously, Biggs. I'm better than that. Bukowski, I'm better than my stupid partner Rusty. I'm definitely better than that idiot. Uh, fucking Roy. See, I can't even remember his name. He's so stupid. And uh, yeah, and will you? Well, we'll just have to we'll just see where this goes, Herschel. I'll, 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 be, I'll be fair for now. But, you know, I'm probably better. Let's see. Engine company number 32. Awesome. We're going to just say fire station. We came as soon as we could. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? 
I had a look around the we place didn't, while I was out there. We didn't tell you Do that? You believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Oh my god, relax. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Reginald Varley, wow, three times. I have a I'm seeing a pattern. And it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove. Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. Why me? You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. Uh huh. You have a regulator valve, and blue represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Okay, so what was the first thing? Okay, so I didn't catch any of that. What was the first thing? Uh, <laughs> the gas supply. Okay. So, this is the Bunsen burner, right? This is the regulator valve, and that's the... What was this again? Why is it not pausing on the log anymore? Oh, the balloon is the... Gas. Oh, that would be this. So, this is the... This is the thing. The pilot light. Bunsen burner. Right? What? Hold on, I'm confused. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. So, the valve. Um. I actually did this before. On my first try. Like, on my second playthrough, I did this on my first try, I think. I think I did this really well, so I... If I fail now... I don't know. Gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Cool, thanks. Oh wait, I have a feeling this is gonna be wrong then. Cause he just told me that I did something right there. I don't think he told me that for the valve. What is this again? Bunsen burner. Or Or is a Bunsen burner that thing over there that's to the left? This is like the... I don't know what's going on. Um, is this it? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. So I failed. Come on, Phelps. You need to get the arrangement right God damn it. Alright. Guess it's not first try anymore. But I think but I'm pretty sure it's already been made clear to us at this point. I don't even know what that, that's that second thing is there. I didn't I'm not really following. Good, your regulator's in position. Yeah, thanks. See because I remember the last time I did this I was putting them all in a place and then as soon as I did that they would kiss my ass, so I was like, Oh wow. Oh, you do it for me. Pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Okay, thanks, Herschel. Jesus. Okay, so that is the Bunsen burner. Okay. The Bunsen burners are bigger. Whatever. Who cares? So that's how it's being done. I guess that okay, does make sense. With these that doesn't make I sense the way it's orchestrated. Never mind. <sighs> on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Diggs. See you at the next show. Oh, that's what you think of these as shows, huh? You perverted fuck. You get on that other guy for being... liking uh, fires. You got a problem, pal? Follow the evidence, son. That's all any of us can do. Right on.
Right on. I swear this town is going straight to hell. Well, they're not gonna not gonna change what you bitching about it. Do something, nope. Mac. The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. Oh. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Oh. Like what? Oh, okay, you're gonna be quiet now, whatever. Mind by me. Take a shortcut. Fuck the shit. Yeah, riding high. Shortcut life. <laughs> Alright. Just get this, come on. Push it. Oh my god. Push it to the limit. The limit. Oh my god. Rah! Alright, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So the apartment will pay for our mess. Okay, yeah, I agree. I'm pretty sure that's what we've been doing this whole time. That better not have been out of my pocket. Fuck no. Fuck that shit. They pay me double and pay for the damages. That's what I say. Fuckers. Especially if they just fuck me over so badly. That's generous of me to just ask for that much. Ass hats. Insta Heat Factory, 2.47 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. A lot of time passed all of a sudden. That was like three hours ago when we were at the fire station or something. <laughs> God damn. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. I should find him in his office? Are you saying, so you're saying like, I, I, that's what I should go do. You're trying to tell me what I can do. All right. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Cool. Staff only. All right, let's go in. Goddamn Karens are having a season in hell. What? That's that creep. Walked out on me. Uh, no, yeah, no, 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 hi, no, no, hi, you know, hey, Cole, how's it going, none of that, no one be greeting me, asking me what happened, just gonna gossip about me right in front of my face, you fucking asshole, go kill yourself, I'll fucking rape you, and then videotape it and put it on the internet, and then you're gonna cry, there's not even internet yet, but I don't care, Get back here and apologize. for what? Uh, oh, what, what I said? No, I'm apologizing for that. Fuck you. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take wow, that was fast. That was fast. You know your shit, I guess. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Oh. All right, on to questions. I'll prompt you at all. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault, a service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you're lying, Razik. Either these heaters are flawed in inception, or they were badly put together. Which is it? If you want to pursue that line of questioning, we could have our day in court. I'll put my engineering credentials up against yours. That doesn't mean shit, buddy. We need, just need evidence, and you get pwned in the face. Uh, hold on. Uh, so we have uh, so either these heaters are flawed in inception or they're barely put together. 
I don't know if this works. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Hmm. What if we do this first? Prone to failure. They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Mm -hmm. I think you're lying, Ray Six. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate <laughs> to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Oh, who would have overlooked a fault? A fault like what? Wait, what? What the hell did you just say? A fault like what? You mean a fault like the, the, the shit that you... Hmm. Name you one of your guys. Okay. Matthew Ryan. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Tracy? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All right, business so you're as usual. Me that this is not a manufacturing fault, a service repair. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. <laughs> but you do. You do. I think you're lying, Razik. Either these heaters are flawed in inception, or they were badly put together. Which is it? If you want to pursue that line of questioning, we could have our day in court. I'll put my engineering credentials up against yours. Right, uh, I don't think I can actually prove anything here, because if the heater service by X worked for the other one, it's not going to work here. Um, so... Never mind that. Looks like I was mistaken. Let's do doubt. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> it's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still Damn. using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe. Not all. <laughs> well, not all of them are shit. I mean, come on. I want you to get me a copy <laughs> of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. You did that so around a dozen of them. Weirdly. Housing business is going. He's getting when he threw it down, he's like, eh. I'm out this here. is a long shot. We are not gonna rouse that whole list. Oh, Rusty Reginald and Matthew Ryan. I want to run it by R and I. Cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right Walter ahead. Clemens. Hmm. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna go over here. Hold on a second, guys. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. The main reason Phelps Sam's bed, so 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert. Holy Manning, shit, Cole, you're way too fast. You think you can keep Brandon, up with that? Jesus Christ, Thomas, I don't think anyone can keep Ryan up with that. Matthew, Spurgeon, William, Barley, Reginald, Zuri, Not anyone with f fucking less than 300 words per minute. <laughs> God damn. Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Oh, wow. Ryan, Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Oh, that's right. interesting. You've been a big help, young lady. Guys avoiding some time elsewhere, I see now. Your employment hmm. roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. You wait. 
And I know all about Desperate Times. Because I'm Cole Phelps. And I know the dough. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on uh, Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Wow, they just they just give them so easy. Like, don't you they, don't you need a warrant? And then they're just like, show us. And it's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Stick around, Mr. Rasick. We're so corrupt. God damn. We're the most corrupt motherfuckers in town. Walter Clemens. Ooh. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Pan Law and Authority, an anarchist essay. Price five cents. Wow, we can actually read some part of the book here. That's kind of cool. When ignorance reigns in society and disorder in the minds of men, laws are multiplied, legislations, blah, whatever, who cares. I mean, the law is stupid, we know that, whatever. Anyway. Uh, we don't need a book to tell me that shit. Let's see. Matthew Ryan. Oh, wow. Light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Hmm. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's see. You know, Chloe. You know, Chloe also had the anarchist symbol. Chloe Price. I'm no. I'm sensing a connection here. Just further evidence that these two games are connected, guys. I'm figuring this out. Of course, the first two games that I played through have a secret lineage. I just know it. A company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. They got eaten? Really? Wow. Jesus. Barley has a problem with bugs. Well, it looks kind of delicious, actually. It looks like one of those, like, uh... Uh, one of those, like, footlongs, you know? <laughs> Whatever they were called. Oh god. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. You probably live near the canals in Venom. Wait, what? If I leave you to it, I got work waiting. Wait, who lives in the canals near Venice? Three what? birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Oh, well, let me. I want to. I want to ask this guy to clarify what he's saying. I gotta swing by the shop, make sure the orders are coming off the line. So if we're done, we're not done. I don't know what you're oh God Three damn it! Clemens, Ryan, Get out of here! Get out of your stupid seat, there, you fucking idiot! What are you doing? Well, hold on, I want to go talk to the, the the desk person here. Maybe she'll say something. I'm very busy, detective. I'm also married. Oh, don't. In case that's what you're thinking. Oh, I don't even get your ego up like that. <laughs> don't even try that. You're not that special, sweetie. Chevrolet. Oh, shit. He's using broad daylight. Oh, okay, I see. <coughs> I kind of see what's happening now. Hmm. Well, this day was a total waste of makeup. You know who that looks like? Well, I'm not gonna say it yet, but... Actually... Yeah. That's gonna do it for me here, actually. Um, so thank you for watching, and we'll continue this case next time. Stay tuned for more.
Bye-bye.